for new users, you'll need to create an account first. Make sure to fill out all fields, then click sign up. You have registered successfully, but take note that you will not be able to log in on your account unless you verify your email first. Go to your email account and check for the email sent by the SCED app. You'll see there your login credentials and the link that you'll need to click to activate your account. Once you activated your account, you can now log in. You will see a refresh button and when you click it, the schedule of reservation of resources and the course and section of the one who made the reservation will be shown on the tabular form. Now, let's schedule a reservation. You will need to select the resource that you need, the date and time that you need it, and the purpose for your request. Here it says that the resource is already reserved because we tried to schedule a reservation for the AVR on the same date and time that conflicts with the existing reservation. Now, let us schedule a reservation that doesn't conflict with the existing one. And there you go, the request was sent. Now, let's log out and go to the administrator account. By default, the admin's username is admin and the password is password. Later on, we will show you how to change the default password. As you can see, the table on the admin side is much more detailed because it now includes the student number and the name of the one we scheduled the reservation. Now, let us say that there are new resources on the campus like a brand new projector. The admin could easily add the new resource here. Now, let's check if it's added. And there it is. The administrator account could also be opened with the SCED web app. To visit the web app, go to SCED. 000webhostapp.com Here, you will see the same table viewed by the admin on the Android app. The difference is, there is an additional column for the reservation number which will be used to delete past reservations. The admin could also add a resource using the web app. And here, the admin could change his or her default password. 